Hey everyone, this is the Torrey Pines hike. It's a fun one, it's a very popular hike. It's uh, right by San Diego. It's the home of the Torrey Pine, or one of the homes of the Torrey Pine, which is right there. It's an endangered species. Um, it's only found around here and on some of the Channel Islands, so this is your chance to see it. It's not like seeing a sequoia where it's this big grand tree. It's more of a smaller pine, kind of like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree type thing, but it is beautiful. And more importantly, the views uh, here are incredible. Beautiful. Um, trails are easy to follow. There's a lot of them. This hike takes you on a kind of best of the main part of Torrey Pines. So we're gonna go to all of the overlooks. We're gonna go down to the beach. And then we're gonna come back along uh, the golf course and the historic uh, PCH. So fun hike, about three miles. Just go to hikingguy.com for all the details, including um, parking and all that kind of stuff, but otherwise here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So parking fills up pretty quick, but if you get here first thing in the morning like I did, uh, you can be the only one here. And I have all the parking information on the website. And from the lot, this is up by the lodge, so don't go down to the beach parking. You want to go up to the lodge parking. You just go straight through here on the trail to the left. There's a trail to the right and there's a trail to the left. You want to take the trail to the left. In the beginning, you want to follow the signs for the beach. There's an overlook to the right over there. But we're going to go towards the beach at first and then to Razor Point. You'll also notice the trail is um, cordoned off. There's little wires on the side and that is to protect the wildlife. There's a $400 fine if you go off the trail. This first intersection, that's Red Butte over there to the left where we're going to go. We're going to make the right, which is a little counterintuitive, but we're going to make the right. And keep following the trail here. And when we get to this point, there's an overlook to the right over there. You can go check out the overlook if you want. But to get up to the Butte, which is a better overlook, we're just going to make the left and go up these stairs. And the Butte is a pretty cool um, rock formation. It's all sandstone here, but you can climb up to the top. And to do that, we're gonna not cut through here, which again would be kind of going off the trail, but we're gonna go around. The trail we're gonna continue on is down to the right there. But instead, we're gonna kind of go up our left here, up to the left. There's another trail that goes down to the beach there, but we're gonna go up and climb on top of Red Butte, which is here. This will be your highest point on the hike. Um, theoretically offers the best view since you're at the highest point, but there are a ton of great views here. And you can see you get these sweeping panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. And you can also see the two trails down there. Um, where we're gonna continue, but we're gonna continue on the one to the right, right there. And you can see it goes all the way down to Razor Point. So that's the way to the beach. We're gonna go to Razor Point. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, you can see the trails are all well marked. It's been uh, restored over the last few years. The trails are in great condition. There is a Torrey Pine, which I mentioned earlier is an endangered species. There's a few of them in the section where you can check it out. But otherwise, we're gonna keep going down and this section of trail kind of zigzags around. There's some stairs and fences to keep you in the right place. And we're just gonna keep on going straight down the razor point. And I mentioned this is sort of a best of hike. We're gonna to go to all of the major overlooks, um, go down to the beach and then head back up. But as you go, you can see the views are pretty incredible the entire time. So you don't necessarily need the overlook, uh, but there are these little spaces here and benches where you can rest and check them out. Now at the bottom here, there's a turn off to the right to get to Razor Point, and you can see also the trails are well marked there. There's little poles that list the destination. We're just going to head down towards the point, and after a short walk, you're going to get out to the promontory point here, Razor Point, where you're going to get some nice sweeping views of the Pacific. Um, a lot of whales do migrate here, depending on the time of year. I did see some whales the day I was out here, which is always a really cool thing so keep your eyes open and when you're done at the point we're just going to head back to that last trail junction 
And when we come back out, we're going to make the right to continue on the hike. And our next point is going to be um, Yucca Point, which is similar to Razor Point. And you're going to continue until you find another turn off to the right here. And we're going to continue up to the left after this, but for now we're going to go down to the right to Yucca Point. And when you walk down here, there's going to be a um, junction. You can make a right or a left. There's like a little loop out on the point. So it really doesn't matter which way you go at that junction. Here you can see we've come around the loop. There's some nice benches, and again, you're at a nice promontory point. Down to the left, you're going to be able to see the beach, which is our next stop, and also all the kind of cool erosion and natural features here. So when you're done at Yucca Point, just turn around, and we're going to head back to that last intersection, and you're going to pass the trail that we came in on on the left there. Instead of going down there, we're going to go straight up here. Now, if you make the left, if you want to bail out, you can just go back to the parking lot to the left, but we're going to make the right and head down towards the beach. There are some stairs here. It's not a lot of climbing on this hike, but it is some, some up and down. Here's a sign warning you. You have to come back up the stairs. And we're just going to go down the stairs, and when we get down to this next intersection where there's stairs up to the left, we're going to make the right down to the beach. Now, this is one of the most beautiful parts of the hike which is tough to say because the whole thing is really spectacular. But we're going to go down through these smooth sandstone formations here down to the beach. And you can see it's well marked. You're going to get some really cool views of the ocean. If you're not familiar with the Pacific, it's not like the Atlantic. It's usually freezing cold, even in the summer. So not a great place to swim, but you could theoretically. There are tide charts up at the... Um, trailhead so you can see what the tide is on this day the tide is in so there's not a lot of beach to explore but you can still see it's a really cool area to go down and visit there's these winding stairs here through the sandstone and you come down to the beach there can be waves I've come here where there's waves all the way up to here so just be careful and the sandstone cliffs are fragile sometimes they break so if you are on the beach you do not want to walk along the bottom of the sandstone cliffs but check out the beach have your fun here and then just turn around and head back the way we came i mentioned earlier you can cut the hike a little bit short you can just go back up this beach trail to the parking lot if you want but otherwise continue with these directions and the way we're going to do this is when we come back up to this junction here. We're going to make the left up those stairs that we saw earlier. This is going to begin a long gradual climb back to the kind of road area, but the views are beautiful. There's sort of these wide sweeping switchbacks as you go up and there's some stairs and you'll be able to view the ocean and uh, all the kind of natural beauty and you'll be able to actually see the points where you were earlier off to the left there. So it's kind of neat. And we're going to keep on climbing up. When we get to this fork here, this trail, trail fork, we're going to make the right onto the South Fork Trail, Broken Hill Trail. And shortly after making that right, we're going to make the um, another little right out to the Broken Hill Overlook, which is right here. And again, we're just going to go visit this overlook and then come on back and continue on the trail. Eventually, the fences end and you're going to come out to sort of a free area where there's no fence obviously don't go off the trail don't go down there the cliffs are all very fragile it's sandstone take a look around there's some really cool rock formations there and you'll be able to see Torrey pines golf course which we'll be seeing on the way back here and then turn around from broken hill overlook when we come back to the trail you're going to make the right here and continue on up. Not a lot of people come to this section of the park, so it will be a little more mellow than the other parts. And eventually you're going to come out. There's this nice little viewing area for the ocean, and the golf course is straight ahead. And as we go up here, you'll be able to see Torrey Pines Golf Course um, quite a bit. And eventually we're going to come to the end of this trail. 
at the end of the golf course. And this is as close as you're going to get to the golf course here. You can actually see them teeing off on one of the holes there. And when the South Fork Trail ends, we're going to come up to the road here. Now, this used to be the Pacific Coast Highway back in the day. And that was too narrow and a little too treacherous for the cars at the time. So they uh, moved it inland. But today it's a hiker and bike path. And you're just going to keep on going down here. And eventually you're going to reach the parking lot where we started. And uh, you just go in there and you'll find the start of the hike once again. And that's the loop. So that's the hike. Torrey Pines, give it a try if you have not already. If you're watching on YouTube, I have a link to the full guide with all the parking info in the description uh, right under the video. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you could click that little thumbs up button, that will help other people find this video, hopefully do the hike safely and have a good time. So uh, Torrey Pines, give it a shot. It is a neat one and I'll uh, see you out there. Bye.